Hi my dear friends today we will discuss about branch prediction in the last class we discussed about a pipelining right so that is a five stage pipeline and eight stage floating point pipeline now we are coming to the branch prediction right <music> by using the pipelining if you understand if we can execute the intersection very fastly that means the process speed is very high when the pipeline when the more number of stages the pipeline stages are more than the execution of the process is also more so when the pipelining fails so please tell me i already discussed when the pipeline fails the pipeline fails when there is an error of a branch instruction so when the branch instruction comes already there some already instructions are there in that pipeline so when the if you go to for 2000 location then the simply the processor will go to 2000 instruction from that it will execute so at that time the pipelining will be fails so in order to remove this we are using branch prediction in pentium processor in order to remove this we are using branch prediction in pentium processor right so it is a simple technique for handling branches branch prediction is a simple technique for handling the branches when a branch instruction is executed the pipeline continues to fetch and decode instructions along the sequential path until the branch reaches the execute stage until the branch reaches the execute stage in execute stage the cpu fetches the branch destination and the pipeline resolves whether or not a conditional branch is taken so again the branches are conditional and the conditional branches right so now now coming to the if the branch is not taken the cpu discards the fetched destination and the execution proceeds along the sequential path with the no delay if the branch is taken the fetched destination is used to begin decoding along the target pin with the two clocks of delay so taken branches are found to be 15% 2% 20% of the instruction executed representing an obvious area for improvement by the pentium processor right this is about how the branch prediction will take place now now coming to the pentium the pentium processor employs branch target buffer remember it employs branch target buffer that is called btb which is an associative memory used to improve performance of a taken branch instructions right suppose when a branch instruction is first taken the cpu allocates an entry in the branch target buffer what is that branch target buffer branch target buffer that means c first one is branch instruction address branch instruction address second one is branch destination address branch destination address and the fourth one third one is history third one is history so when a branch instruction is first taken the cpu allocates the an entry in the branch target buffer to associate the branch instructions remember the remember friends Rem it associates the branch instructions address with this destination address and initialize the history branch instruction address branch destination address and history so by using this when instructions are decoded the cpu searches the branch target buffer to determine whether it holds an entry for a corresponding branch instruction where there is a hit the cpu uses the history to determine whether the branch should be taken or not right by using this we can find the whether branch is taken or not right so by using this so that is if you implement this that is branch target buffer and code catchy then there is a prefetch queue D 
decode and execute stage so from this this updates the history it speaks the history so from this we can generate next address so this is branch target buffer branch instruction address branch destination address and history right so this is the algorithm this is one algorithm right so when the branch instruction is first taken the cpu allocates an entry in the branch target buffer to associate the branch instructions address with its destination address and initialize the history used in the prediction algorithm so as instructions are decoded the cpu sets this branch target buffer to determine whether it holds an entry for a corresponding branch instruction so when there is a hit the cpu uses the history to determine whether the branch should be taken or not right if we should the microprocessor is to target address to begin fetching and decoding instructions from the target path the branch is resolved the branch is resolved early in the early in the write back stage and if the prediction was incorrect the cpu the cpu flush the pipeline and resume fetching along the correct path so in this way we can perform branch prediction using these techniques the pentium processor executes correctly predicted branches with no delay in addition conditional branches can be executed in the vpi paired with a compare compare or other instructions that sets along with the upi so branching executes with full compatibility and no modification to existing the software so in this way we can predict the branch prediction in this way we can predict the branches right so in the next class we go for uh, input and output data catches data catches until then thank you